Hi dancers, I'm Lydia and I am the founder and artistic director of Frame Dance, a professional dance company here in Houston. And we dance in some really exciting places. We have an annual performance that you may have seen on the light rail where we dance on the light rail cars and on the platforms. Or maybe your parents have seen us at lunchtime in the underground tunnels downtown. Or maybe you've seen us dancing along the bayou with bright colored parasols. Today, the dance company and I have come together, even though we're far apart, to create a really fun day of dance for you. So you will first get to do a dance warm up by Miss Rachel, and then I'll come on and we'll do some locomotor dancing. And so today is not only about learning how to dance, it's about learning to be a dance maker or a choreographer. Miss Ashley's gonna come and she's gonna lead you in some imagination dances where you are gonna use your ears to listen. We're gonna give the screen a break and you can listen to your instructions and you're gonna create your own dances. How fun is that? Then after we've done our cool down, we are going to be all relaxed and you're gonna to get to watch a short film that we made separately in our different houses Hi dancers, Miss Rachel here. Let's get started. Everyone take their hands up and wiggle your fingers. Give them a big clap. Good, let's rub them back and forth so they get a lot of friction and heat going on. And to start our dance class, we're gonna start at the top of our head and make sure all of our body's warmed up. So everyone, find your head and tap your head. Make sure it's awake. Make sure your brain in there is ready to think. Make sure you're waking up those ears for listening, your chin, your mouth, your nose, your eyebrows. Good, let's go down and wake up our neck, the front of our neck and the back of our neck. Good, now I'm gonna roll up my shoulders and we'll wake them up. Good, I'm gonna go down one arm and make sure I get my elbow all the way down to my wrists. And I'm gonna do my other arm, get my elbow all the way down to my wrist. Good, I'm gonna wake up my chest. I'm gonna get my upper back. It's hard, you gotta reach back there, warm it up. I'm gonna get my belly warm. And I'm gonna get my lower back warm. Good, my hips. I'm gonna get my upper legs nice and warm and behind my upper legs, I'm gonna get my knees warm. Yeah, our knees can bend. We're gonna go wake up all the way down to our ankles, the tops of our feet, the bottom of our feet, get your heel, get the ball of your foot and get your toes. All right, now our body's really warm and ready and awake for dance class. So everyone sit up tall. Let's practice a long dance or spine. Like someone has a string and they're pulling it out of the top of your head, how tall can you be? No, make it not tall at all. Whoa, we're so not ready for dance class. Whoa, stretch that belly up. Try it one more time. Really not ready for dance class. <gasps> Super tall belly, ready for dance class. Arms up and down. Up and down. One more time. Up and down. Good, our arms are gonna go up to the side and they're gonna clap high in the sky. Up, big clap, let it out. One more time and breathe in. Big clap, breathe it out. Good, can your hands find your knees? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. We do have a stretch belly now. Now we're gonna curve our spine as we breathe. So sit up tall first. And we're gonna curve and stretch. Curve and stretch. One more time, curve belly, stretch belly. Last time, curve belly, stretch belly. You can do that side to side. Curving, stretched, curving belly, stretched. Good, curving spine and stretched. Curving spine, and we stretch it. Very nice. Let's 
rock side to side like a ship, but how tall can you be first? Stretch those arms. Side, we rock. Side, we rock. A little faster. Four, three, two, one. Stretch. Get those fingers ready again. Here we go. Wiggle on the floor all the way out. We make an egg shape with our hands. How far can you reach? X. Stretch and up. Are those arms straight? Look at them. Touch your toes. Try not to bend your knees. Stretch those legs as long as possible. Stretch them like crazy. All right, and pull yourself up. Find the bottom of your feet together and put them together. Stretch. Now our legs look like big diamond shapes. We're gonna stretch. Find your neck again. We're gonna isolate our neck, which means we're only gonna move our neck and the rest of our body's gonna be frozen like a statue. Ready? Here we go. Look side to side. We look side. Side. A little faster. Switch. 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 We look up. We look down. We go switch. 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 Ear goes to our shoulder. Shoulder. Switch. 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 Can you roll your head? Look down. Find your shoulder. Look up, find your other shoulder. Good, look up, find your other shoulder. Look down, nicely done. Now we're gonna isolate our shoulders. They breathe up, they breathe down. They breathe up, they breathe down. They breathe up, they breathe down. Can you roll them in a circle? Ooh, yeah. Roll the shoulders in a circle. Nicely done. Now we're gonna roll our bellies out. We're gonna roll them and stretch them. So find your curved spine. Find your long stretch spine. Again, we curve our belly. We stretch our belly. We curve our belly. We stretch. We can do it the opposite way. Stretch belly and curve belly. Stretch belly and curve. Go all the way down to your toes. Roll it up. Curve, stretch, and curve. Nicely done, dancers. I don't want to hit my phone. Everyone give your legs a big hug and we're going to open our body to the biggest shape ever. And open. So come back in. Notice how small your body can be. How tiny can it be? And open. How big, how much space can you take up? One more time. Make yourself teeny tiny, like the smallest jelly bean ever. And open your body like you're huge. Excellent. Put one hand on the floor. We're going to raise our hips up in balance for eight counts because you're so strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nicely done. We come down and we switch. Can you stretch your knees as you do this? Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We come down. Good job. Nicely done. Let's bring our legs together and we're going to swing them all the way around. We're putting our belly onto the floor. We're going to take one hand up and stretch, find the same foot. And switch, find the same foot as arm. We 
side. Now we're gonna switch it up. Find the opposite. So press over your body. Find the opposite leg. That one might be harder, you can do it. Find the opposite leg. And let it go. Bring those hands in right underneath your shoulders and breathe up. Oh, and breathe down. Kind of like we're a seal at the beach. And down. Good. Find yourself in a kitty cat position. Relax that belly. You look like a cow. You can say moo. And curl our belly up and say meow. Moo. And meow. Good. Can you find your opposite arm and leg and hold it out? Four, three, two, one. Put it down. Try the other side. Four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Everyone find their crisscross. Applesauce position. So the first one is plie. Say it with me. Plie. Great. It means to bend. Plie means to bend. Our next word is tendu. Say the word tendu. Tendu means to stretch and point. Tendu means to stretch and point. Jete. Say jete. Good. Jete means to throw. And say relevé. Relevé. Relevé means to rise. Open our legs like a book opening up. Great. Put your hands on your hips. Let's practice our plie. Plie means to bend. We're going to bend our knees. Good. Tendu means to stretch and point. How much can you stretch and point that leg? Yeah, watch that your foot doesn't come off the floor to do a tendu. It brushes the floor. Kind of like your foot is a sponge and it's cleaning the floor. Let's try a jeté. Jeté means to throw. Throw. Other leg. Throw. Good. Relevé means to rise. We're going to go up on the ball of our foot and our toes and our heels going to be completely off the floor. Relevé means to rise. Check out your legs. We don't have big legs. We have stretch legs. Good. Now let's learn some locomotor dancing. Locomotor means dance that moves across space, kind of like a train, travels. We're going to do a couple different kinds. Will you join me? The first one is slide. So put on your ice skates. Don't let your feet come off the floor and try to slide around your room. Slide, 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 slide. The fun thing about locomotor dances is that you can go in any direction. Try chasse. You might know this one as a gallop. Try. Step together, step. Step together, step. Step together, step. Step together. Our third one is skip. I like to say step hop. Let's try. Step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop. Good work. Fantastic. Now I want to watch you. So we have slide, we have chasse, and we have skip. Are you ready? Slide. Good. Just like on an ice skate. Yeah, on an ice rink. <laughs> wow, very good. You can go forward, back, side to side. Ooh, so slippery. Good sliding. All right, let's do the chasse. Just like a gallop. Good, try. Step together, step. Step together, step. Step together, step. Good work. Try backwards. How about sideways? Can you gallop forwards? Kind of all over your space. Fantastic. Now, try skipping. Yes. Long lifted legs. Good lifted dancer tummies. Very good. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Okay, take a breath. Let's breathe in and out. Which one was your favorite? 
I, it's hard for me to tell. I sometimes like slide the best if I'm feeling tired. If I have a lot of energy, I love to skip. All right, now it's time for some imagination dance making with Miss Ashley. It's Ashley with Frame Dance. Today we're going to do a really exciting activity that's all about onomatopoeia. Whoa, that's a long word. Onomatopoeia is when you use words that imitate the sounds things make. We call them sound words. Some examples of onomatopoeia are cuckoo and buzz. How about boink or clang? Can you think of any onomatopoeia? The onomatopoeia that we're going to look at today are words that are usually associated with superheroes like boom, zap, pow, and splat. A lot of times sound words like these can help us think of movement. Can you think of a movement that might go with the word boom? It might be a giant stomp or it might be your fist hitting the ground. What about zap? It could be lasers coming out of your fingers or lightning striking by your feet. For this activity, you're going to create one movement for each one of these words. So you'll have a movement for boom, a movement for zap, a movement for pow, and a movement for splat. Then you're going to string the four movements together into a movement sequence. So your dance will go something like pow, boom, zap, splat, pow, boom, zap, splat. After you've perfected your four moves, your next task is to find somebody to teach your dance to. It can be your mom or your dad, your brother or your sister. You could video chat with a grandparent. After you've choreographed your dance and taught it to your partner, I'd love it if you'd send me a video of it. We're gonna do a really fun dance. It's all about ants. Hey, did you know that ants are really, really strong? They can carry 20 to 50 times their own body weight, which means if you were an ant, you could pick something up that was over 500 pounds. Also, did you know that ants don't have ears? They listen by feeling vibrations from the ground through their feet. Another thing that's really cool is that ants are everywhere. You can find them on every continent except Antarctica. All right, now that we've learned some fun things about ants, would you like to do a really silly dance with me? All right, come on. Okay, for this dance, we're gonna pretend that we are at a picnic. It is sunny, it is beautiful, we're in a field feeling the breeze, we're having a great time, and then, oh no, here come a bunch of ants in our pants, and they start biting us, and we have to dance really, really, really fast until we shake them all off. Whew. And then we can go back to our picnic. But oh no, guess what? The ants are back and we have to shake and dance crazy and get them all off our body. Okay, for this dance, there's no video, just sound so you don't have to look at the screen. All you have to do is dance with your body and listen to the music. All right, let's go. Okay, friends, here we are at our picnic and we're moving our body in the sunshine. Having a great time. Great dancers, try stretching your arms and stretching your legs and feeling the sunshine on all the parts of your body. Good job. job. All right, let's go back to dancing in our picnic. All right, friends, let's try moving through the grass. Can you try hopping or skipping or even a little bit of safe inside running? Uh-oh, here come those ants again. Get your shaken body on. Here we go. Oh, we 
did it. Oh, no more ants in our pants. All right, let's get back to our fun picnic. Make sure they don't come back. Shake, 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 shake. job dancers you got all those ants and let's lay down in the grass and take a nap <sighs> hey dancers that was really fun and you know the most fun thing about this dance is that you can do it anytime you want this week now you can use the music that I provided or you can find music on your own Okay, now that we've finished our class, good job. So now we need to um, cool down with a little bit of stretching. So go ahead and take a seat on the floor. So you're gonna sit down and open those legs up just as far as you can. You wanna keep those knees straight. It doesn't have to be a super wide V, it can be a small V. So you're gonna take those arms out to the side and take a big stretch over. Good, pretend someone's on this side and is pulling your arm. Pull, pull, pull. Good, and go up, switch to the other side, stretch, pretend someone's got that arm and they're pulling you over. Good, make sure you're keeping those knees nice and straight. If you need to close your V a little, you can. And now can you stretch to the center, pretend someone's got your arms in front of you and they're pulling, pulling, pulling. Oh, make sure that stretch feels so good. Good, dancers, and coming up, now can you close the legs and flex your feet? Pretend you have rainbow hands. Can you paint a big rainbow down to your toes? Good, and paint that rainbow back. Now point those toes and paint that rainbow back down and up. Maybe you can't reach your toes. You can just paint the rainbows down to your knees. Keep those knees straight and paint the rainbow back up. Good dancers. All right, now let's practice our sitting balance. So you're gonna bring those knees into your chest. Can you hug them tight? Create a small ball. Good. Now lift your feet up. And can you lift those legs up? And lift those arms and balance. And close back to a ball. Good. Can you lift those feet up? And try and balance, count to three. One, two, three, go back to a ball. Good, create that nice ball shape. And stretch big, try and hold, 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 hold. And close back to your ball. Very nice, dancers, good job. Dancers, you did a great job today. Thank you so much for dancing with us. Thank you for working on your dance technique, and thank you for activating your imaginations and becoming dance makers today. I hope you had a great time. I did. If you would like to see more of our work, you can go to framedance.org, and I would love to dance with you someday. Have a great weekend. Thank you.